I'm out here in the hills of Los Cerrillos, and this was one of the earliest regions to be mined by Europeans north of Mexico. So they discovered this region by trading with the Native Americans which who mined this area for turquoise. Uh, but also Galena was found here, which was of much more interest to the Spanish because they knew that with Galena there could also be silver. So they found this area in the, sometime in the 1500s, which is just extremely early. I mean, the only other mine north of here that was worked during the 1500s was the Frobisher Gold Mine on an island off the coast of Baffin Island in the Canadian subarctic. So, I mean, there was nothing being mined um, during that time. And this mine is just one of the earliest mines in this region. Um, so I'm on this trail here. There's actually even a little plaque here that talks a little bit about the mine. Um, so it does say that the Spanish discovered the mine in the, in the late 1500s and they worked it for silver and lead and also that the records of the mine were destroyed in the Pueblo revolt of 1680. So we don't really know which of these mines were actually worked by the Spanish in the 17th century in the 16th and 17th century, and which were worked later on in the 1800s. So we have a mine right here, but the Cortez mine, but was this worked by the Spanish or was this worked by the Americans in the 1830s? I don't know, the, the sign is kind of vague, but it, it almost leads me to believe that this, that this Cortez mine may have dated back to Spanish times. I mean, this is a very, very old site and certainly one of the oldest sites worked by Europeans in the United States, in what is today the United States, um, older than even the the Winthrop mine in Massachusetts and the black lead mines that I'm searching for, the lost black lead mines that I'm searching for in Connecticut. This one predates all of them. So we're separated by 2,500 miles though. <laughs> so it's interesting to be in a site that's uh, so early and just the, the terrain here is amazing. You can see just the, the hills. You can see why all, with all these rock outcrops, this would have been an easy area to find any sort of mineral deposits. And the Native Americans really just led them to these, these deposits through trade. This looks like an adit that was backfilled behind me here. So there's a little bit of top rock showing, but we don't know, could this be an adit dating back to Spanish times? We don't really know. It's just interesting that these hills are basically just littered with mines. Okay, so um, we're back to the Land Rover here and you could see the gate behind me, no trespassing. That's, I believe, where one of the really early Spanish mines um, is located, the one that actually has um, primary sources attaching it to um, the time of the Spanish, the, the 17th century. But I don't think we're gonna go up and check that one out today. Mm, he's so friendly and docile. You wanna carry, don't you? Oh. He's so calm. Thank you, so cute. Wow. It's edible. Yeah, see the stove? That's the those are like tiles behind it to keep the wall from catching on fire. Look at the patina on the bar, like the paint. And the spittoon. See the spittoons? These are little quails? I think so. I think so. It looks like quail. What'd you get, Sophie? 